What's up, fans? It's KP. I am at the Long Beach Comic Con in Long Beach, California, and I'm honored to interview Pitoff. How are you, sir? Very good. In yourself? I, I am. Uh, I'm very good, and and, and um, very nice to meet you. Um, you know, your your work speaks for itself, right? Uh, Vidoc was a very big project, right? And that was the project that I understand was really, uh, as we say, really kind of put you on the map. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, Vidoc was the first movie ever shot in HD. Right. Even before Star Wars, I was really the first one to use this HD camera, the Sony one, and to make this movie. Yeah. It was quite an experience. I mean, it's, uh, to be like a, I was kind of a between uh, pioneer and guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know it very much like our little show here. A little bit. <laughs> I, I, I always say I know half of what I'm doing; the other is experiment. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's, it's more of, a, of, a, of an exploring things. Mm -hmm. Now, how does that change from when you go to visual effects director for Alien Resurrection? Very different because um, your your role is very different in that project. The thing is, that I always wanted to be a director. Since I'm a kid, my thing was to be a director. Right. And the visual effects thing came, you know, uh, along the road by most most by, by accident. Yeah. It was not my will to do a visual effects. Right. Which is the uh, irony. But <laughs> I was lucky enough to be able to work on anything. You know, I did like a grip electrician. I, I, I wanted to try everything, not that not I was good at, yeah. but I wanted to know everything about everything. Because I thought that in order to be a director, you have to know everything. You yeah. have to be able to take the job, not to take the job, but you know, to do the stuff. I mean, to, to be able to do what you were asking. How did you pick Catwoman from all the scripts? I mean, I'm a Frenchman. I love yeah. women. <laughs> how, Halle how can Berry. you refuse Halle Berry? How can you re did, refuse that? Did, I mean, you, did you know Halle Berry at the time was going to be it? No, no, no. At, at the time, actually, at the time, it was Ashley Judd, who was to be Catwoman. Uh -huh. And then they changed a little bit. They raised the bar a little bit, and, and I wanted to have some, somebody bigger than, than Ashley. And then, so they, uh, uh, we went for Halle Berry. Right. And I was part of the decision. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's see. Sure. So that was the best part of the movie. I mean, I had to kiss uh, uh, Halle Berry every morning and every evening. Well, so how, that was. How, how do you do it, my friend? You're so strong. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. Actually, you have some. Sometimes it's like a fighter. You have some. Uh, the, you know, in the middle of the fight, I mean, you, you think you're gonna die. And Just have, have to get, get, up, get up again. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So what? So what's in your future? What? Uh, what is left for you to do? And, and, and what things are you working on? So now I want to be, to, I mean, I'm working on two extreme things. Mm -hmm. I want to do very indie and like a, a project, mm -hmm. that's what I'm working on right, right now. So if you like at the, in the old days, the good movies, the very, very good movies, which has been our reference for movies, yeah. was the studio movies, was the mainstream right. movies. Right, right. And that was, you know, that's what built Hollywood and all that. It's because they were great movies. Right. And the indie movies were kind of B movies, crap, and stuff and everything. Right, right. And when you look at it now, it's the opposite. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the big mainstream movie or you know remake, and it's they're not good. I mean, come on, they're not good. They, they make money, of yeah, course, yeah, but yeah. they're not good movies. Yeah, yeah. Just, it's, a, you know, it's almost a formula. Yeah, it's yeah. popcorn. I mean, I'm not against making money, you know. But you know, it just there's nothing good in whatever I've seen so far in a mainstream movie, mm -hmm. and the good thing come from from the indie world. So mm -hmm. the the thing is completely reversed now. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be creative, you have to be indie. It's mm -hmm. not you, you can't be creative in a studio uh, uh, world. It's just impossible. Mm -hmm. And in the other end, of course, because of my background technology, I want to do a 3D as mm -hmm. well. But I'm more into the complete animated 3D. So I want to work. Uh, I'm working on a project now which will be a completely full CG animated 3D movie. Well, so, so much uh, thanks for taking the time uh, and to learn more about you and, and your craft. And uh, I, I hope you enjoy the show this weekend. Yes, absolutely. There you go. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, Pitoff. I'm KP. I'm at the Long Beach Comic Con. I am Stylin. StylinOnline.com. More to come. I said, okay, I, I, I'd rather be a good visual effects provider and work in this world than a bad director. Right. <laughs> so that's why I think, okay. No. Anyway, that's, that's any movie. Any, any movie, you never know what what, what, what will get at the end. And you try to do the best to get the best of, of anything. But, you know, it's always an experience and a, and a trip. Yeah, right. The only thing I'm not good at maybe is acting. Mm, yeah. Not maybe, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried. Yeah, I yeah. tried. But I'm so bad. Star Galactica. Batman. <laughs> yeah. Serenity. What was that? Uh, Highlander. The Empire Strikes Back. Doctor Who. Star Trek The Next Generation was my favorite. Scooby-Doo. Well, at the moment, it would be True Blood. True Blood. True Blood. I have to say True Blood, too. She-Ra. Doctor Who. The Star Wars, Episode 4. 
Firefly, without a doubt. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Joker, obviously. Family Guy. <laughs> Good choice.